The year is 1519. Hernan Cortez has just reached Mexico with a large army of men, 16 horses, massive ships, and many weapons. After anchoring in Tabasco, Mexico, they were greeted by many people and were given women and food. With his new allies, Cortez was able to fight and conquer the Aztec Empire, which was full of 5 to 6 million people. Before the battle, the Aztecs were one of the most powerful civilizations in town, taking over more than 500 small states. So why was Cortez and his people able to run over them like flies? But don't worry, we'll get back to that later. In the beginning, North America was definitely not geographically advanced. Yes, they ate great veggies and good fruit, they ate good land and isolation in the mountaintops, but they had no domesticable animals. The lack of this important aspect leads to them not having enough solid meat and protein, help on the fields and mobility, and the lack of exposure to disease to let the body create crucial antibodies. Because of this, I chose to give North America a C+. Fast forward some time, and you have one of the most sophisticated and complex civilizations known to man, the Mayans. Known for their ingenious astronomy discoveries and their complex writing system, they had it all. But why? You see, the Mayans were able to grow a variety of amazing fruits and veggies, ranging from corn, also known as maize, to squash and quinoa. The protein in their diet consisted of deer, turkey, fish, ducks, and more wild animals. To store all of this food, the mines kept large wooden cradles to place above ground either in private homes or different sites around the city. This massive food surplus was what gave the mines resources and advantages to advance their technology and society. Now, it is very easy to tell that the mine civilization was great to say the least, but there was one major flaw in their system. They had no antibodies. As said before, North America had no livestock, which gave the mines no possible way to defend themselves against, its, against disease. This is what wiped out the mines in 1633. Smallpox and other European diseases came to North America and spread very quickly, eventually making it to the mines. Similar to the mines, the Aztecs were able to create a very interesting and complex civilization. When the Aztecs had their very own food surplus, they were able to create anything ranging from the calendar to gum and education. But they never have built anything that would prepare them for the battle against Cortez. Also, the Aztecs had no horses and no animals that would be beneficial to them in battle. So when Cortez came, he was easily able to go straight through them, holding hostages until they would surrender. Another extremely important geographical feature that the Mayans nor the Aztecs had was the ability to trade with other nearby civilizations or towns of people. Their only trade was long distance to get essentials like salt, potatoes, and luxury items like stone and jewelry. The ends of these two amazing civilizations are not completely their fault. I would blame their own continent. Other than food, they were given nothing, and when you look at how accomplished these civilizations were, just imagine them with all the resources that they need to build themselves up. So now, when we look back at my first question, why was Cortez and his people able to run over the Aztecs like flies? The answer is that Cortez came from Spain, and in Spain he was able to acquire many horses, amazing food, weapons, and ships. And when we look at Jared Diamond's key to success, Cortez truly had it all. Thank you.